to the channel everybody little bit of a different video today we decided to start up a new series on our channel called honest car reviews by modified weekly yeah completely original i know <laughs> and we just thought what a better way to start off our new series than review my type r right so we're going to kick this off with why you got the car? Why did I get this car? Well, because I was 18, young, and I wanted a faster car than my 1.2 Renault Clio, and I've wanted one of these since I was about 14 years old. Uh, one of my uh, parents' next door neighbours, he had a Honda Civic Type R EP3. Uh, it was just a pre-facelift silver one, but he had it supercharged and it sounded so mean and that's pretty much what made me want one So, what mods have you got currently done to the car? Uh, currently on the car we have, oh, I've done, we've done uh, braided brake lines I'm not going to class the this as pads, they were just kind of like an upgrade Moving on, what do you like and dislike about the car? Uh, what do I like about it? It's fun. It handles pretty well. If you stay in VTEC, it is pretty fast. Um, it's not very comfortable. Um, but it's all atrocious on fuel. It's, there's like next to no sound deadening in the car. And, um, yeah, that's I know that's some dislikes, but yeah. Um, my headlights decided to stop working, so I've got to use my high beams everywhere. For no apparent reason. For no apparent reason, they both went at once. I think it may be the switch. And um, yeah, that's my likes and dislikes. It's not comfortable, so it's not a car you can really sit in for a long two hour journey and sit back and cruise. It's more of a get to the point, put your foot down, go from A to B fast. That's why I bought it. Yeah, it's one I want it to go fast. You pay for what you get, really. Obviously, being Japanese, the interior isn't like the best. It's cheap plastic. Pretty much of any Japanese cars, they spend most of their money on engine and chassis and then they just stick bits of plastic in the cabin oh it talks this quite badly as well so we are currently parked and we're going to carry on with some questions so the next question on our list is what plans have you got for the future plans have i got for the future well i want to get a inlet manifold what inlet manifold what inlet manifold preferably a skunk too a skunk 270mm inlet manifold and a throttle body and then my this car is a spider in my car okay um 
and then this car is pretty much ready for a rematch. And then, yeah, depending how long I what, depending how long I'm gonna have this car for, I might even consider a little bit of forced induction. That would be cheeky. Um, yeah, but good car. It's been reliable mechanically wise so far for me. I've had it six months and it's on eighty. 5,932 miles, but these engines are running forever. So first of all, let me just apologize that this review video isn't like a professional, because it's our first one, so you got to cast some slack, please, and um, our recording gear isn't top quality. It's like, we're lucky if we spend 10 pound on a mount, like. Right, we've only got a GoPro mount, and it's not the best. It rattles quite a bit. So if you hear any bumping or like just crap audio give us a break and yeah obviously we do plan on getting better cameras and stands and everything we want to we want the full kit so we're going to move on to the overall review so now we've got four sections that we're going to rate out of 10 they are comfort build quality performance and handling so we've got comfort it's not comfortable it's not comfortable pootering around town and the roads are everywhere are atrocious. There's so many potholes. So Just many. trying to avoid them creates more problems. Literally a slalom right now. You're literally swerving in and out of potholes, especially in this. Like every time you go down a pothole, you broke something. Oh, you feel it so badly. Something's broke. <laughs> That's it. And um, yeah, it sounds expensive every time you go down a pothole. So overall, in comfort, we both agreed on four. Next, we're moving on to build quality. This is inside and outside build quality. The outside is put together pretty well. There's no panels hanging off or nothing. And it's quite solid. The inside, once again, it's solidly put together, but it's... It loses its marks because it's Japanese and... Cheap plastic. 2000s is like the year of uh, plastic Japanese, as they say. Oh, and also, let me just show you this. Due to there not being a gear knob down here, you get a nice big cubby hole. You, it's really, really deep and you get two cup holders here. Oh, and another feature that I love. You get a little personalized Type R badge. I was nearly 30,000. Uh, you got another cup holder there, and a cup holder here. You got four cup holders in here in total. Hold tight the vents, boy. And they are all like it. We agreed on a build quality of six. That it's just the inside bringing it down really, the outside is pretty solid. Moving on to performance. Performance, the key aspect of this car, this is what you buy it for. The performance, it's a little hot hatch, it's got a 2 litre VTEC engine and it it performs quite well. Yeah. Naturally aspirated, so yeah. there's, no, there's no turbo lag, it's like kind of instant torque. It's VTEC lag. And no, um, yeah, if you stay in VTEC, you're alright, it, it does go when you're in VTEC. Underneath VTEC it lacks. It only has like 140 something foot pounds of torque and 200 brake horsepower, 197. But um, yeah, you can tell that there is a lack of torque in this car. But as long as you, if you boot it from first, you're all right. You're fine. Overall, we gave this, we, we agreed, agreed on, on seven. A seven, which I think is fair because it's, it's not lightning fast. And I mean, it does, it does with all the stuff we put on it, it does need a tune. Yeah, it's nearly ready for a remap and then I think it will be about an eight mm. performance. So what's next? Handling is next. Handling. It it handles pretty well. It's, it's quite nice. It's quite tight. It's quite sharp and the handling is a te um, what's the word? confidence boosting. The handling is confidence boosting because it's, it's just accurate. Um, yeah, you go into a corner nice and sharp. It's, it's good. Ah, it's got the turning circle of a boat though. Oh my goodness. No more three point turns if you get one of these. Jesus Christ, you might as well start practicing your seven point turns. Overall, we gave the handling a seven again because it, it, it does handle pretty well. It does. There's not much understeer either, which is a big problem with front wheel drive cars. So in total, we gave it a 24 out of 40, which is, uh, he's 14 years old. The Japanese Honda that is that uh, I love it to bits. Basically, it's, it's, I love it. Yeah. So, the conclusion for this video. 
Really fun car. Excellent. Like it's. I can't fault the drive. It's incredible to drive. Absolutely incredible. Um, it's not comfortable. Bad on fuel. You got lots of places to put your cups. You got bought four drinks. Um, gear sticks. Nice position. Smooth. And yeah, buy one. Good cars. And here we've got the Skunk 2. 2.2 and a half inch, I think, or 275. One of the other, but it's massive.